Scorpio, this is Soul here, and uh, Scorpio, what I'm about to do is do uh, readings for you for the month of um, October, November, and December, just like before, three months, and uh, I'm going to do some romantic um, energies as well, but I think I'm going to do it uh, a little differently. I got a little winded with Libra's video, so I didn't know how it was going to turn out, so I know uh, I got a better handle on it, I think. Again, you might see my head bobbing in and out of the camera view, uh, and it's just because it's you know really a tight space here. But I wanted to try something differently, uh, different angle at least anyway. So Scorpio, I hope all is well. I hope you guys are you know having fun and staying safe. Uh, these messages are for uh, Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Scorpio Rising signs. Uh, for me, I'm doing okay, but I'm going to do an intro instead of you know like I've done in the past, do an intro. For each you know video uh, sign that I was reading for, once I'm done doing all the videos, I'll just do an intro to let you know that I've done videos <laughs> for the next three months for all the signs. Okay, <coughs> save a little time. Anyway, I'm using this deck here, and you know why I got brain dead? I still don't even remember the name of the damn deck I'm using, but that's okay. I'm not going to stop and try to figure it out. I like using this deck here because it, it talks to me more. I don't ever read these cards in the reverse position. Um, and the Roman, yeah, the Gothic Romance uh, Tarot deck, uh, okay, by Karen Mahoney. I'm going to use that. And it's only because of Halloween, all right, just to spruce things up a little bit. But I am going to do something differently here, Scorpio. Um, I still want to select. Uh, four cards for each month, October, November, and December. But this time around with the uh, romantic cards, I'm going to select three cards. I think the last time I only selected three cards or one card for each month. I don't remember. I really don't remember. <clears throat> but if I did the same, I, don't, I, I really don't recall. But anyway, um, let's get underway here and let's start your energies just to see what's going on here, what's coming up for you. And also, too, uh, Scorpio, I want to wish you guys a happy birthday as well. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. I'm trying to catch all these holidays. If I forgot one, someone please chime in. Um, I think that's about it, though. Um, Veterans Day. We don't really celebrate Veterans Day. We acknowledge it, but we don't really. What else? Some other kind of holiday. Anyway, <clears throat> those are the major ones. Thanksgiving and Christmas and actually Halloween. All right, so here we go. Energies for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Scorpio Rising Signs. If I didn't say it, this is for Scorpio Singles as well as Couples. All right, so we're going to start off selecting uh, the cards for um, October. And like I said, my head might bop in the view there a little bit. Okay, October. Coming up for Scorpio in October. Your birthday energy. All right, that's October. November. Now give us December. One more. All right, there we go. December. If any of these cards show up in the reverse position, I'm just going to read them in the upright. Uh, like I said, I don't read these cards in uh, the reverse. And these uh, gothic cards should not be in the reverse either. All should be in the upright position. All right, so we're going to select some cards here uh, to look at the uh, romantic sector for Scorpio in the months of October, November, and December 2021. Now, I think the only thing different here with this deck is I don't think there's double lovers and devils. I'm not really sure. I don't remember and I didn't really go through the entire deck. Uh, so I'm not really sure. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Let's see, what's 
Coming up romantically for Scorpio. One, two, three. October. One, two, three. One. All right, so let's begin here. Start to read the energies here for my fellow Scorpions. Alright, so Scorpio, we're going to start off with, for you, let me move them over here. We have the Eight of Cups, okay? Well, just like I said in uh, Libra's videos, they had pulled a lot of swords which the element represented their sign. So cups, you know, representing emotions and uh, representing you, Cancer and Pisces as well. You look at this picture here, and I will try to hold up the picture so that you can see it. So if there's a glare, I you know, apologize for that. Uh, as I get to lay them down there, you may not be able to see them as well. So I'm trying to hold them up as best that I can so that you can get a good look at them. Eight of Cups is always turning your back on some energy here. Now, not necessarily in this picture here, you know, turning your back on not wanting to do the fucking dishes. No, this is turning your back on the energies of all this stuff that is compiled here. Um, it's relative to dealing with family members, um, all types of uh, relationships. So it could be romantic, platonic, it could be work, it could be, you know, uh, friendships, you name it. Whatever it is that could be going on for you. Also, I need to throw in there that you need to keep in mind that this is just, uh, you know, general energies that I'm reading. And all of this, you know, what I'm about to spew may not, um, you know, resonate with you. Um, so I always tell you guys to take what you can out of the reading and then leave the rest alone. Okay, so no longer wanting to deal with, you know, <laughs> bullshit, basically, Scorpio. You can see the window here is wide open. She's about ready to walk the hell out. This could be a window or it could be a door. I'm assuming that it's a door because there's steps. So she's about to walk out the door. So you're either about to walk away from something that has, you know, taxed you emotionally. Um, and whatever that is, you know it. That could be something that shows up for you in the, well, we're in October. It could be right now. Okay? It could be right now. Um, dealing with other people's uh, foolishness. Drama. It's like you're at your wit's end. You can't take it no more. You don't want to deal with it no more. And to save yourself, that's probably why the door is open. Because you want to walk away from it all. You've had enough. The Eight of Cups is always representative of emotions that run too high and that are out of control. So you're turning your back on that energy because you want to maintain control of your emotions, your mental state. Okay, so whatever this is, this is what's showing up here for you and could be part of the energy of what's happening right now in the month of October. All right, so um, next card up here. Uh, showing up here for you for October is Justice, okay? Justice is showing up here. This is actually a pretty good card. And this is a card of balance. There could be some legal stuff that's going on for uh, some Scorpios. Well, this card here um, states that if there is some legal stuff going on, it's going to be in your favor. It could be lawsuits. It could be any types of judgments or anything. It could be uh, anyone dealing with um, issues with workers' comp. Um, the law is on your side, okay? Um, you can see the mediator here, and there's two people who are like arguing or fighting, trying to plead their case. She's standing there like, you know what? <laughs> I'm the judge. I'll be the decider on this situation. So this is balancing things out. I could actually be reading for some Scorpios who have some sort of work capacity in the legal or justice system as well. But usually the justice card that shows up here is justice being served, okay? Whatever was done wrongly to you is corrected in a right fashion, okay? Or you're being handed some sort of, could be, a, you know, like a, a reward or something like that or some sort of uh, judgment. 
in your favor. All right, so we have that there. This could be, you know, part of the, let me connect this energy here with the Eight of Cups right quick. This could be, uh, for an example, someone who just recently divorced. Your back is to that drama. You're walking away. You don't want to deal with no more. The door is open. You want to walk out that door. Then having to have dragged yourself through the emotional um, situation of a separation or a divorce, then something here comes along and it's in your favor. So anything is possible. That's just an example. That's not something that's written in stone. Up next here is the, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, Libra finished off uh, the month of December with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is good luck, good fortune, something turning in your favor. Now, like I said, when they're reading, the wheel always represents, you know, uh, people could be possibly changing their tires for the season. If you live in the uh, United States, especially on the eastern seaboard, it really gets cold. You know, so people change, change out their tires and whatnot. So this is also uh, my fate and destiny card. Always being at the right place at the right time. So Scorpio, there's some good stuff coming up uh, for you. Something turning around in your favor. Um, any Scorpio gamblers out there, just, you know, this is big wins. This is lottery hits, casino money. Uh, just play responsibly, you know, because you could, you know, hit it big there. All right. Keep in mind, it's a 10. Fives and tens are the potential of energy to come through, but they don't stick around too long, okay? The energy always changes with the fives and the tens. So keep that in mind, but you got some good luck on your side um, starting off, all right? So you have two major arcanas here. Hmm, interesting. What is the emotional stuff that's going on? Last card here is the Knight of Pentacles, all right? So the Knight of Pentacles is anyone who could be uh, promoted, someone who starts a new job. Uh, this card, is, it is a, a court card, it's, it's someone who could offer you know, financial assistance. This actually, because I'm doing your reading, could be you in the case of the Knight of Coins, and then you're helping someone out financially. Um, again, the car is here, and you, know, you could be having your car detailed in the month of October. Uh, anything is possible. I'm just seeing that, all right? Uh, but the most important thing to grab from this is that this is steady, dependability, um, secure um, energy. Either you express that or it's being expressed to you. Again, it could be that promotion. It could be that job, that new job that you start. Um, and financial assistance. That's the Knight of Coins. Remember, the Knights are always the Knights in shining armor, always coming to the rescue. All right, so that's your uh, energy um, for the month of October. So it might be starting off pretty rough here for you guys emotionally, but you're not going to stay in this. I'm telling you now, you're not going to stay in this mode, okay? And I'm saying that it's because you've already dealt with it. Your back is to that energy, so you've already, you're ready to move on. Okay, and then look what opens up for you, Scorpio. Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Now, when it comes to romance, let's see what's going on here. Oh, look at that, judgment. Okay, there we go. Okay, what's hidden in the dark comes to the light, always. Um, this is also, too, a reminder of making sure, Scorpio, that you're not being too hard, yeah, harsh or critical on yourself. Uh, Self-imposing. Um, you know, criticizing yourself. But it also, too, is for you not to pass judgment and criticize other people. But whatever secrets surrounding you, I get this like, you know, with the high priestess and whatnot, it comes to the light, okay? Now, that could be something that you are unaware of or you could be you know involving your own self that you weren't aware before and then you you know it becomes known to you and that could be almost anything you know and i'm gonna give you an example it could be just you know um say you wanted to make a meal or something like that and you didn't think that you could do it or whatever and then you end up doing it it's that simple okay it's not something to think about 
that is, you know, the judgment in itself that, that is so hard or um, any judgments are being passed down to you. It's an awareness card. It's something that you become aware of that you didn't, you weren't aware of before. Now, this energy could be expressed through other people. Now, but because I'm reading it romantically, it could be some secrets that are revealed or something that comes up about, you know, the partner that you're with. And it doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Remember, I just said, whatever it is that was hidden comes to the light. You become aware of it. Okay? That's the judgment card. Up next, Major Arcana, we have the, oh, there we go. We have the sun. So this is happiness. This is new relationships. This is definitely feeling good about all things connected to other people. Um... The sun is the best card in the tarot deck. It's one of the uh, happiest cards. Uh, it can mean so many things. Always, when I get the sun, I always think of um, California and Florida people <coughs> for some strange reason. But this is a time of joy. This is a time of happiness. This could be um, centered in, you know, or around the current relationship or there could be uh, happiness um, in partnering with someone new. The sun finally shows up and smiles on Scorpio in the month of October, your birthday month. And I always say when your birthday rolls around, usually good things uh, show up and look at the three major arcana. Well, two major arcanas that you have here: the judgment. I mean, the uh, justice card and the will of fortune. This could also be the Knight of uh, Pentacles. As I'm thinking about it, uh, Scorpio could be business partnerships too, uh, partnering up with someone and trying to start a business, or joining a well-established business. sun just brightens up everything everything that you f may have felt dark about um that was pertaining to the eight of eight of cups okay so if you were feeling you know blue depressed things are about to turn around for you need the will of fortune and the sun last card for you romantically is the nine of wands and this is one of my i call it my busy bee so nine of wands is just energy. It's just like you're, you know, you're going to, when it comes to your relationships or if it's, you know, like you're single, it could be just you having that energy to, um, you know, put in the strength or, you know, put in that energy to uh, want to connect with someone new. Okay. A busy bee. Think in terms of a busy bee. You're busy trying to, and they ain't got nothing to do with manipulation. You know, you're just putting your energy out there. And you really don't have to do much because I always tell people, you know, if you're, um, if you want to get someone's attention, if you want to get someone's attention, stop giving them yours. See how the tables turn. When you, and it's not necessarily ignoring someone, you have an interest in someone. You've been doing all that you possibly could to get this, this, <laughs> I start to say something. <laughs> <laughs> to get this person to to you know notice you or to do you know something better with you or whatever stop giving it to them it's the most simplest thing to do but it's the hardest thing for people to achieve when you want to get someone's attention stop giving them yours all right and then see what happens so romantically in the month of October, we have, you know, the judgment, two major arcanas here. You have two major arcanas in the regular read here. So I feel that whatever is going on here that has already started, I think you already dealt with it though, Scorpio. Now you're trying to move away from it. Then things start to um, clear up for you and become a little bit better for you energetically. Okay. And that's just regular stuff. And then this, um, you know, anything that's going on in the romantic department, things are looking pretty good as well. So that is your October and we're going to start your November again. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Scorps and happy birthday. Yeah. Five of coins. 
now she's here <clears throat> again this could be connected to the uh, wheel of fortune she's at the casino okay so she's hit the jackpot now five of pentacles on the other hand is always the fives generally deal with a loss but in this particular um card she's not losing anything she's happy she's like winning so it could be still you know uh just because it is a general reading it could be gift giving it could be you know donating to charity you can see the people on the outside you know who look impoverished and she's happy because she's winning but we don't know if she is going to collect her earnings and then help these people you know on the outside it's an open thing you know it's not something that's um definitive she's willing she might be willing to share her wins with you know the less fortunate in other instances it could be that someone is there's someone that you're dealing with that is stubborn or it could be that you are stubborn usually somebody because I'm reading for you, Scorpio, I'm going to keep it fair. It's somebody that you're dealing with that is stubborn or unwilling to budge or change. That's what I see with the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represents the Five of Pentacles. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles that's showing up here. And this is, again, started... Starting, you know, they used to start always something new, new job, new business, entrepreneurship, pay raises, bonuses. This is a card that fosters some sort of sense of security, stability, also long term energies. And when I, you know, in which I neglected to say uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, that's a card of security, stability and long term energy so if you're getting into a partnership uh, with someone in terms of a business then that business looks lucrative it's going to stick around for a bit um, potential to earn money this here is another uh, potential to earn money aces are open so there's when I say ace of pentacles it's because there's an, a, a vast array of abundance there's no set value to the ace of pentacles So your money earning potential could be very, very high here. And if I didn't say it, it could be, again, along with uh, a promotion. You could be promoted with substantial pay, pay increase. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo again. Then we have the Ten of Blades. All right, so the Ten of Swords is showing up here. And again, don't because the card looks hideous, don't sweat. I like I actually like the Ten of Blades. I like the Ten of Blades over the Nine of Blades, Nine of Swords, or the Three of Swords. Why? Because it's a Ten. So whatever energies that you may have been dealing with in terms of conflicts, it's about to come to an end. This is an ending of all of those things, and now a new energy is gone or about to open up for you. I always pick up surgical stuff with the Ten of Swords. So someone could be having uh, surgical procedures in the month of November. It could be um, major or minor. It could be dental. Doesn't necessarily have to be medical. It could be dental. It could be a short inpatient or it could be outpatient. And because the cat is here, that could be also involving uh, someone's pet who has some sort of surgical procedure. Okay, so what new energy is uh, about to open up for uh, Scorpio in the month of November, your birthday month. And then the last, oh yeah, the last card that we have for the month of November is the Ten of Cups. So somebody could be getting married in November. This is about family and look, it's Thanksgiving, so look, it's the family card. So there's family gatherings, get-togethers, celebrating, being around like-minded people, people that you love, could be including pets. This could be a wedding reception. This could be a wedding in itself. 
And actually, I'm going to a wedding. Uh, my nephew is getting married November 11th. And since I am part of the water energy, that could be, you know, because this represents Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. That's probably what it is. Uh, you know, wedding and uh, wedding reception. But it's all about that happiness and being around the people that love you and, you know, they love you. No. They love you and you love them. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> okay. So that represents you, um, Cancer and Pisces. So November is actually looking pretty good for you guys. All right. Keep in mind that these are still just general readings. So romantically, let's look at what's going on here. What could be going on for some Scorpios? Two of Wands is the waiting game when it comes to romance. You might be waiting for someone. It's the number two, so it um, you know, definitely relates to partnerships. And you can see the gentleman here. I don't know if you can see clearly on this card that there's a female right behind him. So that's why I said the waiting game. You could be waiting for that new uh, relationship. You could be waiting for someone that you are already interested in. Remember I said earlier, um, I said something earlier about a relationship. Can't think of it right now. All right, so two of wands represent fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is still a planning stage. When it comes to your relationships, just think of the planning stage. You might be planning something. Uh, if you're already in a partnership or if you're not in a partnership, you might be still planning something, but it's all connected to, um, you know, a relationship and moving forward. You're waiting for someone. That's what I'm getting. Scorpio is waiting for someone. Up next here is the, uh, oh, now you got the nine of swords. Okay, so this is the card of lies. Uh, cheating, having affairs, deceit, deception, uh, needless worrying, uh, could be some sort of, you know, mental stuff going on. Uh, I always say with the nine of uh, swords, it's always, re sometimes, oftentimes related to things of past issues or relationships. Something that's still attached to you involving someone that you, um, may currently be with still or has already dealt with but that lingering energy the nine of swords is still with you so it's it, either you have to come to some sort of resolve even you know uh, if you're not able to talk to the person who's created some sort of conflict for you well at least talk to yourself and forgive yourself okay this could be a card asking you to forgive yourself for anything that you may have gotten yourself involved with that may have created conflict for you or a high degree of stress involving another person. But if you're not able to pick up that phone or that person is no longer in your life, Scorpio, pray for yourself and ask for forgiveness for yourself. You can't make someone talk to you. So, in essence, you can't control what other people do, do to you. You can only control what you do for yourself. Next card up romantically is the, look at that, you got the double ten of cups. There you go. Not much more I can say about the ten of cups that I didn't speak about already. So you have two ten of cups here and you're reading for the month of November. So I guess it's about that unity, you know, whether it's family unity or whether it's, you know, uh, somebody getting married or going to a wedding. Or it could be a reception or whatever, but it's about having to connect with those people that you are fond of and they are fond of you. It's like mutual love and respect go hand in hand. When it comes to these relationships, again, Ten of Cups represents your energy. Nine of Swords, I forgot to mention, represents, of course, air. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But this is you, okay? Ten of Cups, romantically. Think of the, um, this could be a social gathering where if you're single, you may meet somebody or be introduced to somebody romantically. All things are possible here. All right, so that's your November. Let's see what's happening in December. 
December starts you off with the Two of Wands again, waiting for someone. Now, for the general reading, though, this could be waiting for some mail to arrive. You're waiting for some important document. This is still a planning stage, writing things down, planning things for your future. But you don't have the necessary tools to move forward just yet. Three of Wands or the Six of Swords, Six of Wands gives you that green light. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius represents this Two of Wands. Now, there could be some uh, Scorpios who are... Is it divesting? Or there's some interest in music, something musically going on or musically inclined. So I don't know if there's... Um, if you guys are going to concerts or there's just, you know... Something musically or a musical event. Hmm. Could be um, something that occurs for some of you in the month of December. Going to a show, it's musical. Anyway, what's up next here for you, Scorpio, is the Four of Coins, Four of Pentacles, okay? Four of Pentacles, when it shows up here, Scorpio, is usually about. Um, um, I always get stinginess, okay? <laughs> when it comes to clinging on to what you already have and not wanting to lose what you already built up. All right? So, but you have to let go a little bit. Also, because he's holding his hands out with coins. He's on a beat, so he must have dug and found some money. So, this could be some money that, you know, and I'm only going to say that you may find, um, you know, in your car or in your own home. Or it could be... Uh, somewhere outside of those sources but it's going to be a small amount of money you may come across a small amount of money now if I were to read this card in the reverse then it's just you holding on too tight to you know what you think you may lose and that stretches out to relationships as well this could also still be small pay raises coming through this could be a bonus it's a building up of income. So we have the four uh, pentacles here for you. Next up, that represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Now we have the six of blades. Now I just said the six of blades, three of wands, and uh, um, yeah, six of blades, three of wands. Even if the chariot showed up, that's car of. I mean, that's the card of movement. That's the green light. So this here actually is whatever it is waiting. What you're waiting for, it may arrive. It could be a parcel. It could be some letter, document. It could be, you know, a phone call or a text. It could be emails. This card also represents having to move away from a little bit of turmoil into calmer, clearer energies. This actually represents a physical move for some of you. This could be to a new state new township, new country, but it could be all for the better for some of you. A physical move. I actually feel a physical move. And that could be part of the energy of, of waiting for something to occur. Alright, so Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini represents that six of blades. Last card we have for you is the seven of blades. Okay. Seven of Blades is the card of thievery. Just like I spoke in Libra's video, whenever a fox is in any of these cards, I always tell people there's someone around in your circle who is not to be trusted. This could be a family member. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a friend. This person, they lie, they cheat, they will steal. So, Scorpio, um, I mean, I don't need for you to, you know, play detective or anything like that because nine times out of ten they give themselves away but because the fox is here and I'm reading for you there's somebody in your circle that you cannot trust that is not to be trusted or you place too much trust in this person and then what ends up happening since this is regarded as the card of thievery they take something from you and then all of a sudden there's this oh my god I, I can't believe that you know you've done that to me so to speak. 
On the other hand, this could be somebody who returns from your past. Now, this could be romantic. If this was part of the uh, Seven of Blades that was chosen for the romantic thing, then it's definitely somebody from your past that's a romantic link. But because this is general, this could be somebody who is romantic, somebody who you are uh, friends with, someone who was a family member. If they return, they're still conflicted. Think of the fox. This person, or in this case, per sons, because there's three people here. Actually, there's four. There's the man in the window. Something going on with somebody's computer as well. I don't know if a, uh, someone who purchased, let me see, December, someone purchases a computer and has to return it. Someone bought a computer and has to return it. Or they're having problems with that computer. Okay, so Seven of Blaze is uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So that's your December energy here, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on romantically for you, possibly. Six of Swords, again. Moving out of clear, I mean, uh, turmoil, and moving into clear, calmer passages. Keep this in mind that, you know, even though I'm doing month to month, sometimes you guys, if, you, you know, like I said before, I apologize if you can't see all the cards that are laid down once I'm done. But because I'm doing these months and, you know, like, follow the energies in sequence. You know, the Six of Swords. Remember, you start off with the Eight of Cups. That starts you off emotionally. But things get better as time moves on or progresses, right? You run into a little rough patch here with the Nine of Swords. Okay? But, you know, you go beyond or you get beyond that type of energy. And then now we come with the Six of Swords when it's linked to you romantically. Now, this could be someone traveling romantically together. Then, you know, relationship-wise, things get better. If there was any um, energies of having to deal with, you know, major conflicts. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Up next is the, <laughs> look at that, the Will of Fortune. Fate and Destiny card. Being at the right place at the right time. Someone has a tarot reading. This I like this because this is actually a tarot reader giving someone a tarot reading. Well, that would be me. I'm giving you guys a reading. But someone could be other um, Scorpions who are doing tarot readings for others. Or Scorpio gets a tarot reading. A personal tarot reading. Good luck, good fortune, something turns around in your favor, connected to romance. Okay, remember I said being at the right place at the right time. If you're single, you might be somewhere where you're not even thinking about love or romance. And then all of a sudden, boom. Those are the best moments, to be honest with you, when you meet somebody. You know, all the online stuff is good and you get the vet and all that other stuff. But when you bump into somebody, when you ain't even looking then that's, you know, that's definitely a spiritual thing. Okay, it was meant to be. So the Will of Fortune is here. Um, and it's linked to you romantically. Six of Swords. Which is also a good card. Up next is the, alright, well you have the Devil now. Okay, so the Major Arcana, the Devil. You got the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. So there could be, and you can see the needle getting ready to go into two, uh, the female's arm. This is all about addictions. This is all about addressing those energies where um, you need to discuss bad habits and relationships that you have in connection with others. Uh, this is unrequited love, okay? That means there's more energy going into a person feeling-wise than the person is giving back to you. Now, this could go both ways. Someone could be feeling the same, um, you know, about you and you're not feeling them. So that can go both ways. But there's some attachment or something that could be 
um, interfering with the development of a good relationship because of uh, the devil's influence. See, the devil makes you, you know, make things appear to be okay and creates an illusion. So don't get caught up in the devil's trap. You know, they're saying the devil is a liar. Well, this in this case, it, the same thing applies. So one can be dealing with uh, someone who is uh, sexually, has sexual addictions, uh, could be addicted to pornography, could be, uh, you know, drugs, drinking, uh, anything that is affecting the relationship. Now, on a single aspect, it could be those things that are affecting you or impeding you to establish a decent relationship. If you have those um, habits that you're dealing with and trying to fight but the devil keeps luring you back in. Connect that to your relationships or connect that to yourself if it's something that's impacting your relationships. So the devil represents Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So this is what I have for you, uh, Scorpio, for the months of um, October, November, and December. Okay, so I hope that I explained all the energies to you. And um, really, I hope that you guys can see this, you know, even after I hit the stop button and, and whatnot. But in any event, please take care of yourself. We are still dealing with COVID. <laughs> Excuse me. And, and try your best to enjoy um, all the upcoming holidays and definitely, definitely be safe. Until I talk to you again, Scorpio, take care. Bye.